Halo teman-teman semua, selamat datang kembali guys di Judgment ya. Los Judgment part berapa ini? Kayaknya yang inget si Chris nih yang edit Chris. Tolong ya dikasih subtitle. <laughs> Gue lupa Chris nih part berapa ya masih pagi, otak masih bego nih, nyawa belum ngumpul. Oke, okay, anyway teman-teman selamat datang kembali di Judgment di part 3 ya kalau nggak salah nggak tahu lah pokoknya. Tapi yang jelas kita lanjut. Jadi di part sebelumnya kita udah uh, kok kok di sini di mana nih? Wait wait wait. Oh di auto save dong salah sorry. Uh... Lotte gimana ya? And now I di 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 kemarin nih Stefan ini masih Stefan kemarin salah gue. Jadi di di part sebelumnya kan kita udah ke sekolah ke sekolah terus habis itu kita uh, pasangin kamera segala macem dan akhirnya ini ya ternyata emang anak-anak itu tenggel-tenggel semua ya masya Allah. Nah ini nih yang bener nih chapter 1 nih the black sheep. Oke okay. jadi salah gue tadi. Nah jadi kemarin kita habis dari sekolah dari sekolah ya kan terus habis itu kita udah tahu deh pokoknya anak-anaknya bandel ternyata emang bener bahwa ada pembulian. Lagi-lagi pelaku pembulian adalah yang kita tampolin di part satu yang apa ngebuli 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 itu yang di restoran gitu loh ini sekolah emang ya bener-bener ya tapi anyway uh, ya kepala sekolahnya juga akhirnya uh, mau, mau apa setuju lah sama decision kita dan kita dipasangin speaker gitu kan soalnya masalahnya di part sebelumnya juga si Yagami itu kayak apa ya si Yagami apa si kepala sekolahnya itu sebenarnya galau by the way akhirnya bagus juga ya enggak sih nggak terlalu sih but Eh well actually ya biasa lah ya karena emang game Yakuza tidak ada airnya. Tapi anyway, ini ya apa namanya? Intinya tuh uh, eh entar dulu. Cara naik skateboard gimana ya? Oh ini dia R2. Nah, <laughs> eh saya lupa dia bisa begini nih. <laughs> Di. Yep, yeah, jadi apa? Eh, gimana sih cara make? Kok gue lupa. Oh, iya. eh lu kok <laughs> gimana sih caranya? Mati. Lupa gue cara naik skateboard deh. Oh, ditekan terus ya. Eh, lu oh, oh ininya analognya nggak boleh itu, analognya nggak boleh lepas. Oh iya 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 iya. <laughs> analognya nggak boleh lepas apa nih? Wah, ini gue demen nih. Hmm, 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 hmm. Ayo, ngapain kamu? Hmm, hmm, hmm. Uh, uh. Eh, masih hidup. Ya, penakut. Ape? Mau apa? Hmm. Hmm. Ape? Eh, enggak ada habis lu hilang. <laughs> Ini kayak jujur ya, stand 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 snake itu terlalu sedikit OP dibanding stand yang lainnya sih. <laughs> Oke. Okay. Ah, analognya nggak boleh ini nih, oke. Okay. Nah iya, tapi apa namanya ini? Anyway, ternyata kan kepala sekolahnya tuh bingung gitu loh mau ngambil keputusan kayak, waduh, gue bisa nggak nih ya? Kalau misalnya gue tunjukin, padahal kita punya buktinya gitu loh bahwa ini anak pembuli. Tapi kalau misalnya kita tunjukkan bukti tersebut, yang ada malah, wih, wih, wih. yang ada malah uh, kita tuh jadi ada masalah baru bahwa ternyata, wah sekolah ini diam-diam gitu kan? Diam-diam ternyata masang hidden kamera, ntar dituduh macem-macem gitu loh sama orang tua muridnya ibaratnya. Nah. Allah mati, hai. <laughs> Itu barusan bukan jatuh ya, tapi bergaya. Oke. Nah iya apa jadi uh, kepala sekolah tuh bingung mau ambil keputusan gimana sementara gurunya, gurunya tuh yang perempuan itu yang cakep itu guru eh dia bilang pokoknya saya nggak mau lagi ya ada murid-murid kayak gini ntar bunuh diri. Kenapa guru yang ngomong gitu dan benar sesuai dugaan gua gitu loh ketebak bahwa ya mungkin memang kan ceritanya kan. Waduh, didengkul enak banget pakai masker lagi. <laughs> Ceritanya lagi COVID. Ah, lu sih lu gua grepel. Gini ya. Oke. Wih, dapat duit. Nice. Gitu dong. Oke. Okay. Tapi anyway, uh, seperti yang gue bilang gitu kan teman-teman. Jadi memang tuh uh, si si gurunya tuh juga nggak mau gitu loh. Gue nggak mau lagi ada salah satu oh, Allah Akbar. Ada salah satu murid gue pokoknya yang bunuh diri. Gue nggak mau lagi gitu karena dia trauma. Karena di, uh, di part sebelumnya kan juga udah pernah diceritain kan bahwa memang ada ada kasus bunuh diri gitu kan. Katanya gara-gara kasus pembulian. Sini kau. Oh, Allah. Lalu gue lupa nih efek set 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 <laughs> Kurin, <laughs> kesel gue. Oke. Okay. Oh iya yeah, ini masih bahasa Jepang ya. Oke, okay, tapi anyway kita lanjut ke ceritanya. Nah teman-teman mohon maaf ya, mohon maaf banget. 
untuk part yang ini untuk part yang ini tuh gue akan pakai bahasa Inggris karena kemarin ternyata di part sebelumnya juga uh, pada pada request untuk uh, ini ya pada request untuk apa namanya pada request untuk ganti ke bahasa Inggris ya karena memang gini teman-teman ya gue ngerti sih kenapa lo pada yang suka sama Jepangnya gue ngerti karena memang game Yakuza series itu memang Jepang semua memang dari Yakuza dulu gue main sih dari PS2 ya dia jadi uh, voice-nya itu Jepang Inggris itu cuma teks gitu kan Ya gue ngerti kenapa makanya lu lebih suka Jepang gitu kan Ada beberapa dari kalian Tapi Kalau gue pribadi gue tuh lebih demen Inggris ya Untuk judgment lo ya Kenapa? Karena emang bagus voice actor gitu loh Kalau misalnya voice actor jelek Jujur gue juga gak nyaman cuy Gue juga gak nyaman Jujur aja Kayak contoh Langsung aja gue sebut Dynasty Warrior 9 Dynasty Warrior 9 tuh Astaga Eh tapi game gak ada emang ya Tapi maksud gue emang, emang, emang bikin gak betah bahasa Inggris gitu Emang jelek Jujur aja kalau jelek gue bilang jelek tapi kalau misalnya kayak Persona series, Dynasty Warrior series tuh sebelum-sebelumnya juga bagus kok. Kayak Dynasty Warrior 8 bagus semua. Dynasty Warrior 7 bagus semua gitu kan. Seperti itu. Jadi memang kalau emang voice actor bagus memang bagus-bagus aja menurut gue sih gitu ya, teman-teman. Itu makanya gua decided untuk ya udah jadi dijadiin bahasa Inggris aja. Gitu. Oke. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> oh man. You almost got arrested and put on the sex offender list. There's no way I'd screw things up that bad. <laughs> In all seriousness, those bullies got what was coming. I kind of wish you messed them up worse. Yeah, I kind of wish that, that too. Way, they'd never bother Kodasan again. Yeah, but that wouldn't really solve the problem. Not everything can be settled with a fight. What? <laughs> wow, look who's talking. <laughs> but that's where those speakers come into play, isn't it? Yeah. If everything goes as expected. Hey, you did everything you could, right? So we'll see what tomorrow has in store. Hmm. Katanya nggak semuanya tuh bisa diselesaikan dengan berantem, tapi kata si Sugiura lah, lu kan tapi kan habis berantem, <laughs> lu kan habis ribut lu sendiri. <laughs> Itulah tapi speaker ini, eh hey, kuya, aduh, ya udahlah kita langsung lanjut aja ya teman-teman ya tanpa menunggu lebih lama. Langsung saja. <laughs> dia sendiri-sendiri habis berantem gitu loh si Agami. <laughs> tapi emang gue setuju sama Sugiura sih, gue actually ngarep digebukin lebih keras gitu loh. Biar makhluk-makhluk dogol itu belajar Bahwa hidup ini sulit dan tidak seenak yang dia kira gitu kan Karena emang makhluk-makhluk seperti bully-bully kayak gini tuh Emang harus di Ibaratnya tuh bahasa kasar ditampol teman-teman Tampol itu bukan cuma fisik ya Maksudnya tampol Baik Apa namanya Baik Fisik ataupun mental gitu loh Karena Ada memang beberapa orang Yang tidak bisa diberitahu dengan mulut Mohon maaf Pengalaman niche ya kan, ngomong dari experience ya kan. Tapi eh, benar memang, yang namanya orang tuh kadang harus ditampol teman-teman, bukan fisik. Ya lo kalau emang udah keterlaluan mungkin dia kali ya belepak. Ibarat kayak seorang bapak gitu kan, kalau misalnya anak udah keterlaluan, <laughs> ya mohon maaf harus ditampar juga gitu kan. Tapi kan biar apa? Intinya kan biar sebenarnya bukan nampar fisiknya, tapi lebih tepatnya dia nampar mentalnya gitu. <tuh> kan nampar Allah nampar nampar mental itu biar 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 dia jera gitu nah ini contoh kayak orang-orang kayak gini kan yang sosok jagoan kita ajari dia kehidupan itu tidak semudah yang kira yang mereka kira nah nah kan kayak gini nih. hmm nah <laughs> kerjaannya malak malak aja <laughs> padahal padahal mereka belum tentu jakuza gitu loh sebenarnya guanya sih keterlaluan Allah dah oke okay, lanjut Gitu, tapi emang kadang ada beberapa orang yang kayak gitu gitu loh Yang mentalnya terus ditampar dulu Supaya dia sadar betapa beruntungnya hidupnya dia gitu loh Dan nyadarin bahwa eh hidup ini gak seenaknya lo kira Ya seperti contoh kayak kejadian saya baru-baru kali ini Kalau teman-teman baca IG story saya gitu kan Nanti gue ceritain deh detailnya di live deh. Tapi intinya gue tuh capek gitu loh Gue tuh capek nolongin orang bego gitu ya Nolongin orang bego maksud supaya hidupnya upgrade Tapi susah ketika uh, Wih juga keren juga lompatnya tapi susah ketika kalau dia udah nggak mau bantu dirinya sendiri gitu loh kita bantu selama 10 tahun loh gue bantuin tuh nggak 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 ada perubahan gitu kan permisi pak oke ini dia sekolah ya nggak berubah gitu loh jadi gue capek jujur maka akhir-akhir ini gue juga jarang streaming sebenarnya karena mental gue lagi capek teman-teman males jadi kalau streaming juga makanya gue ini akhir-akhir ini gue rekor tayel lah gitu dan kebetulan juga kan Chris juga udah mulai masuk nih udah udah mulai balik lagi gitu kan udah nggak WFH sih Chris jadi ada yang bantuin gue juga kan untuk upload ngeditin ginian dan sebagainya gitu intinya begitulah tapi baru sekolahnya bagus sih lihat kafetarianya ya ampun oh ini nih yang sering dibuli lihat yang dibuli anak perempuan ya lihat sok-sokan ini gue demen banget nih jadi yo so are you gonna come out to lunch with us or what 
Huh? Oh. Don't you have anything more to say than that, Coda? Get your ass up. Mm. Come on. Matsun's really not in the mood to deal with your shit today. I'll just eat lunch here, okay? Huh? You're giving us lip now? I guess you won't be needing this stuff then. Mm. Oh. We told you to get your ass up, you little slut. Ah, oh, maybe you've started fucking guys on your lunch break now? Wow, dude. <laughs> You're out here living the dream, aren't you? <laughs> Enough. Get your ass up. Orang-orang kayak gini tuh. What's the fucking hold up, Coda? You should be thanking us for even inviting you to come. So Kumpulan orang-orang kesepian ini, bully-bully ini. Well, damn. So much for my appetite. You guys are making me sick. Hey, who the fuck said that? <laughs> We're making you sick, huh? You guys talking about us? You see anyone else being assholes? Of course he's talking about you. Yeah, I've about had it with you punks. This shit's getting old. <laughs> what the fuck? Ganging up on the same girl day after day make you feel real big? Unfucking believable that it takes three of them to do the job. Yes! Seriously, you guys? You're taking Coda's side here? You know she's just a whore, right? You okay, Coda-san? Just ignore these losers. How low can you go? Calling someone a whore isn't gonna win you any points. Exactly! Right? Let's hear it for the picture of purity over here. Uh, what the hell? Hey! She can dish it, but she can't take it. Hope the boys are watching. <laughs> what? <laughs> so many adult jokes here. Ah. What the fuck, man? If you want to talk shit, say it to my face. What part of this don't you understand? <laughs> y yeah. You know what, Iyalah. guys? Jadi dikucilkan dong, betul. It's true. You guys just need to leave her alone. Oh, ini sih itu. Yuri lo entah. Right. What's your problem with her anyway? Yeah, Koda didn't do anything wrong, guys. Exactly. So back off Koda-san already. Stop acting like little punks. Get the hell out of here. When you guys going to lunch, go choke on a chopstick. Oh, how does it feel now? Just get going, would you? Yeah. Toss them out. Wah. Wow. Emang kalau bully-bully tuh harus digituin. Mereka tuh seolah-olah merasa paling tinggi gitu kan harga diri ya. Tapi ketika mereka dikucilkan, baru ngerasa kalau mereka tuh sebenarnya just a tiny little piece of shit. Itu memang. Gitu teman-teman ya nih pelajaran buat lo yang masih sekolah. Kalau ada yang suka bully-bully, mereka tuh gak kuat. They all knew what was going on in there. They just need a little extra push. Even when you know something happening right in front of you is wrong. Not so different from adults, right? Yagami-san, was everything we just witnessed part of your plan? It's just psychology. Exactly. There's this concept called the bystander effect. Bystander, yeah. According to the It's psychologists, the when a person witnesses an incident, there's three things that run through their mind if other people are in the vicinity. One, if no one else acts, it must not be urgent. Two, if no one else acts, I don't have to take action either. Hmm. And three, if I take action alone, I'll embarrass myself. Betul. The result? Everybody stands there and nobody takes action. Hmm. I just figured if I could get even one person to step up and raise their voice, it would spur the rest of them to push past their inability to act. Exactly. Little, little, little push. Seperti yang gue bilang tadi. You ever seen a flock of them hesitating to take a leap into the sea? One takes the first plunge and the others all start following after him. The first penguin, you say? It's a fascinating term for a display of bravery. I've heard it said that overseas in America, the first penguin is a symbol of respect. Mm. So for Yagamishi, that would mean your voice was the first penguin in that classroom. I can't say for certain this resolved your bullying problem. But here's hoping it's at least a good first step. They're gone. You should be safe from them for a while. Itu teman-teman ya. Itu benar sih. Itu juga psikologinya nggak cuma ke anak-anak sebenarnya. Benar kan si Agami? Ke orang dewasa juga memang. Itu bagus nih bagus.
Aku suka. Nice, nice. What do you say we monitor the situation for now? Might not be wise for adults to intervene just yet. I suppose your plan has worked out for the better. But it should be teachers and administrators handling these matters, not detectives. You know what? I couldn't agree more. Then if you'll excuse me. <laughs> oh, come on, man. Lighten up a little. You didn't have to rub it in her face. You know what she thinks? She thinks we're some bums off the street trying to meddle in academic affairs. Well then, I apologize on her behalf. But Yagami-san, that was some magic you worked there. Hard to admit this at my age, but I learned quite a bit from what you did. Oh, <laughs> I wouldn't go that far. Good stuff, Yagami-san. <laughs> Naturally. I knew you would deliver. <laughs> huh? No, look. <laughs> Genda lo, si itu dong. Si siapa namanya? Sorry, I have to take this. Si siapa? Genda Sensei. Hey, this is Yagami. This is Shiosaki. Do you have a minute? Eh? Si itu ya? Uh, sure. Si Sauri ya? I have a rather urgent request for you. It concerns a trial we've been involved with. Listen, sorry son. Uh, I'm a little busy. I don't know if I can take a rush job at the moment. We aren't even in Kamacho right now. Actually, I'm in Yokohama. Really? That's interesting. I'm helping Sugiura out with a case for his new agency. We're on site right now. At Serio High School. Uh, sorry son? Are you there? Serio High? Somewhere near Ijincho? Is that the school? Hmm? Huh? What is it? A college-age student teacher from that school went missing about two months ago. No, lo, kok dia tahu? It was all very sudden. Huh. I think I heard something about that, actually. He himself was a Seiryu High graduate. He'd returned to his alma mater to finish his teaching hmm. credential. Just a sec. How do you know so much about this? The teacher's name is Hiro Mikoshiba, and his body was discovered a few days ago. Oh. They found him in one of Ichincho's oh, abandoned buildings. Yang di awal itu ya, yang diuletin ya, tuh kan? The body was badly decomposed, but Kanagawa police have just released his identity. Ya Allah. Moments ago, in fact. Moments ago? This is gonna end today? <laughs> Thing is, someone else knew Mikoshiba was dead. Before the police even confirmed it. Nah, lo. Oh, oh, yang si itu ya. A sex offender, Akihiro Ehara. I defended him in court. The day Mikoshiba disappeared, Ehara was arrested at the station for groping. He's also an active duty officer. So you're saying he committed the murder too? No. The victim was still alive while Ehara was at the station in Tokyo committing sexual battery. He was caught and arrested on the spot. And he's been in jail for the two months since. Oh. So if I have this right, he has an alibi for the murder? Right. <laughs> but there's more to it. A few days ago, someone Sama lit flares at the location of Mikoshiba's body. It obviously couldn't have been Ahara, so I suspect that's the real culprit. But whoever that is, is somehow connected to Ahara. Yeah. Otherwise, there's no other way he could have known about the body. Exactly. There's clearly more to Ehara than an officer turned groper. More than likely, he's an accomplice to murder. Okay. So do we have a motive? Four years ago, Ehara's only son hung himself in their home. He was a student at Seiryo High at the time. And the way Ehara sees it, his death was the result of bullying at the hands of his classmate, Mikoshiba. You mean it's revenge? In that case, could he possibly have hired someone else to kill the guy in his stead? It's highly likely. As for my request, I'd like to see what you can find out. Oh, Mikoshiba's murder is too suspicious. Up until today, I wrote Ehara off as just another train groper. But he got arrested for that on the exact day that Mikoshiba was killed. It can't be a coincidence. I mean, you couldn't ask for a better alibi than being arrested for a different crime, right? 
Otherwise, the cops would have pinned him as suspect number one. But groping as an alibi? Why go to all that trouble? There had to have been a better way than that. I'm worried. As his attorney, I have to admit there's a chance Ehara planned this, which means I've made a critical oversight. Even worse, I let a misguided court issue a verdict. I can't allow that to stand. I need to reconsider both the harassment and the murder, because I think the truth is these cases are one and the same. All right. Well... What can I do for you? Can you see if anyone at Seiryu High will talk about Mikoshiba? Right now, we need more information. And the first thing we should focus on is how and why he disappeared. That could give us a lead. So, does this mean you're hiring me? It does. Consider it an official request, if you would. Okay, I'm on it. <laughs> no better feeling than when the jobs line up perfectly. <laughs> Ini bener dugaan gue gitu kan, jadi intinya anyway bagi yang gak ngerti ya, pokoknya jadi di awal-awal kan tadi kan kita ngira kayak, oh kasus pembuliannya udah kelar gitu kan. Ya memang bener sih, udah apa katanya walaupun it's not yet solved, tapi ini huge step lah. Ibaratnya yang dibully itu udah gak, udah gak terlalu jadi korban bully, itu itu juga bisa jadi nasihat untuk teman-teman yang masih sekolah. Atau bahkan sebenarnya gak cuma di sekolah sih, karena yang namanya perundungan itu... Terjadi di dunia kerja juga, I mean, ya lo tau lah di bulan lalu udah kasus apa gitu kan yang tentang perundungan, yang tentang pembulian. Tapi intinya adalah gitu teman-teman, yang namanya bully, mau lu sekolah, kuliah gitu kan, atau di tempat kerja, apapun yang namanya dirundung itu, kecuali kalau rundungannya beda ya, maksudnya kayak bercanda, itu beda, itu beda cerita. Kalau cuman dirundungnya bercanda gitu kan, kayak kita-kita lah, kayak gue sama Bang Tara, kayak Mala gitu kan. Tapi maksud gue... Uh, kalau misalnya, kalau misalnya kayak gitu itu namanya bercanda gitu kan itu beda. Tapi kalau misalnya bener-bener literally bully, udah bully itu maksudnya namanya udah ngerampok apa sebagaimana itu juga terjadi di negara kita ya nggak sih? Ngaku lo pada siapa yang dulu yang pasti di sekolah lo ada yang namanya bully, nggak mungkin nggak ada cuy, nggak mungkin nggak ada sandi mungkin. Oh bang di sekolah gue nggak ada bang, bisa jadi lo nggak tahu. Bukan yang nggak ada tapi lo nggak tahu mungkin kan ya pokoknya apapun itulah kalau misalnya ada memang korbannya tuh ditemenin teman-teman, ditemenin, dibelain. Ya dibelain. Memang benar kata Yagami. Yang namanya psikis manusia, psikologi manusia tuh pada dasarnya nggak semua, nggak semua psikologi manusia. Tapi pada dasarnya kebanyakan tuh psikologi manusia kan gini kan. Ah kalau dia nggak mulai, ngapain gue mulai? Gitu kan? Ah kalau gue protes sendiri, uh, ntar gue malah malu maluin diri gue sendiri. Wujud itu benar semua. Gue nggak menyalahkan teori itu karena itu memang approve kok. Bener nggak? Ah kalau misalnya gue protes sendiri misalnya ada suatu kesalahan nih Ada protes sendiri ntar gue juga malah gue yang dikata-katain Malah gue yang malah jadi korban Ya pasti adalah perasaan kayak gitu Kita tuh takut untuk melakukan sesuatu gitu loh Kita takut menjadi seseorang yang pertama melakukan hal-hal tersebut Tapi ingat ada pepatah kan tadi di Amerika ya di, di Amerika tuh ada pepatah mengatakan The first penguin is respect Maksudnya apa? Penguin, penguin itu kan dia kan pada saat dia melompat ke air Itu kan nunggu ada satu dulu yang lompat Satu dulu yang lompat baru semua ngikut Nah kenapa dibilang the first penguin Penguin pertama itu kalau lompat duluan Itu adalah artinya respect atau rasa hormat Kenapa? Karena dia adalah ya pembuka jalan Dia adalah revolusioner sebenarnya ibaratnya seperti itu gitu loh. Dia adalah pembuka jalan Jadi semuanya ngikutin dia Makanya yang pertama lompat selalu dibilang respect Selalu dibilang respect selalu dihormati yang pertama Karena dia yang membuka jalan Seperti itu ibaratnya Nah itulah which is yang dilakukan sama Yagami tadi Kalau misalnya saat uh, dibully korban bully gak ada ngebela Dia pakai speaker-speaker speaker gitu kan Ya udah, di push aja dikit, di push dikit nah baru. <laughs> di push dikit bahwa ayo kita yang jadi the first penguin gitu loh. Kita yang jadi malah ngebelain pertama nanti semuanya bakal ngikutin ngebela. Seperti itu. Which is itu adalah salah satu yang sangat 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 berguna sekali sih. Gitu ya, sangat-sangat bagus itu memang. Itu adalah memang ilmu psikologi, teman-teman. Itu juga yang gue pelajarin di masa SMA dulu seperti itu. Gitu ya. Jadi memang ya, keep that in mind itu ilmu yang bagus tuh. Ya, ketika ketika satu orang protes nah baru semuanya iya terjun semua gitu apa ketika satu bersuara maksudnya dan bersuara itu benar pasti semuanya akan ngikutin gitu itu emang itulah psikologi bukan psikologi manusia tepatnya itulah psikologi society gitu ya oke okay, anyway ini gue save dulu nah terus tapi abis itu oh ini gue Nah, habis itu setelahnya, setelahnya terus kan kita kan udah kan kelar gitu kan. Wah, udah nih kasus kelar gitu kan. Eh, ternyata si Sauri telepon. Ada kasus nih cuy gitu kan. 
Gue lagi gak di Kamurocho katanya Loh justru bagus memang kasusnya tentang ini justru minta tolong Ini sekolah ada rahasia terbesar nih Masalahnya si polisi ini kayaknya sengaja Train groping Soalnya muka-mukanya gak muka perfect nih polisi ini That the son he had lost was avenged. Muka muka itu beda lah teman-teman. Muka prefer tu kayak gua, kayak Chris, gitu kan prefer. Kayak Raffi, prefer. Nah, kalau kalau muka yang polisi tadi tu kayaknya enggak prefer gitu loh. Kayaknya enggak prefer gitu loh. Jadi, gua curiga emang benar kalau si Agami tu curiga tadi kan. Oh, jangan jangan dia kekerasan seksual tu untuk alibi supaya dia ngebunuh orang nggak ketahuan. Can we go over the defendant's profile? That way, I'll have something to work with. Sure, Akihiro Ahara, age 53, senior officer with Tokyo PD, convicted of sexual battery. Tadi lu teman-teman, baru gua pengen kencing. Bentar ya, Chris jangan lupa di cut. Bentar, gua kencing dulu. Spend all your time waiting. I am back. He'd been stationed in Shinjuku and lived alone in Tokyo. That is, until his arrest. Lived alone? Unmarried then? His wife moved to Yokohama without him seven years ago, when their son Toshiro started at Seiryo High. Toshiro Kun ended up taking his life in his third year. That's four years ago, if you're counting. And the couple never reconciled, huh? Apparently, his wife wanted nothing to do with him from that point on. That's it for personal details. Yeah, you got to arrest the police. As for the charge, Ehara has maintained his innocence. He's had no luck getting him to budge. Mind you, the prosecution has plenty against him. Security camera surveillance, eyewitness footage, even trace evidence gathered on scene. The same footage the media was plastering on TV? Yes, although some of it was edited for privacy or length, but it painted a clear enough picture. Hard to dispute something you can see right in front of you. True. And what about when they handed down the verdict? The horror flew off the handle or something? Yeah, that's one way of putting it. Your Honor, in a warehouse, About three days ago, a body turned up in Yokohama. The body belongs to a guy named Hiro Mikoshiba. Four years ago, this man took my son from me by driving him to commit suicide. I heard convinced that Mikoshiba had bullied his son, and to get his justice, he even took Seiryu High to court. However, the court ruled against him, claiming there was no substantial evidence of bullying. Jadi katanya kan memang anaknya, jadi si polisi itu dia tuh nganggep pokoknya anak gua tuh dulu dibully tuh sama si mayat yang pertama itu teman-teman nanti ada kelabangnya, ada ada apa namanya tuh ada ada ulat-ulatnya, pokoknya mayat yang pertama lah dia ngebully anak gua, sekarang dia he get what he deserve gitu loh, dia memang pantas tuh biar jerak tuh, biar dia memang pantas kalau dia mati, berarti gitu. Soalnya katanya 10 tahun yang lalu pada saat anaknya mati, anaknya meninggal gitu kan, pada saat anaknya meninggal karena pembulian tersebut. Memang ada beberapa tuntutan gitu kan dari orang tua, which is kayak si polisi ini. Tapi hasil dari verdiknya, hasil dari pengadilan tuh, ya dia nggak puas si polisi ini gitu loh. I still need to dig into the court record of that case to see if there's anything of value. Sounds like I'm on deck then. I've got someone involved in the case right in front of me. Who? The chairman of Serio High himself. Are you talking about me? I don't know how you pull these things off, Yagami-san. But let me give you a word of caution. I'm listening. Mikoshiba's murder hasn't been made public yet, so please don't go around talking about it, especially mm. at his school. The Kanagawa police will investigate the school soon enough, and if they find out everyone already knows, they'd show us the door, lock it behind them, and probably charge us with obstruction. Exactly. Oh, and before I send you Mikoshiba's photo, there's one last thing you should know. What's that? Ehara's ruling was the day before yesterday. That means we only have 13 more days to potentially file an appeal. Mati cuma 13 hari. Duh. Jadi nanti bagian ngerti tadi ya, kan kebetulan kan kata Siagami lah kebetulan nih lo ngomongin soal kasus sekolah ini di depan gua ada orang yang cocok nih yang paling tahu sekolah ini gitu. kata si kata si Sayuri siapa? Uh, Pala sekolah. <laughs> Kata ha, kepala sekolah kata dia. Enggak 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 jangan jangan kata. Lu denger ya kata si Sauri. Gini. 
uh, kita ini katanya kan nggak nggak itu apa es eh, tunggu bentar ini kok ini begini nah nah apa kata si Sauri tuh eh dengar ya gini uh, lu tuh jangan ngebeberin dulu tentang mayat itu gitu loh kenapa karena kan baru ditemuin kemarin uh, soalnya ini tuh belum gue publik berita ini gitu loh kalau misalnya ntar polisi investigasi sekolah terus sekolah udah pada tahu kayak oh iya guru ini udah ditemukan ya bisa-bisa ntar kita yang dituntut gitu loh kita dituntut karena ya ikut campur ya berarti ikut campur kan ngapain gitu loh kita ngapain terlibat seperti itu kita 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 bisa kena lah gitu loh seperti itu jadi ya makanya uh, jangan jangan nyebar dulu ke semua guru atau gimana pokoknya jangan ini keep keep it secret dulu aja lah gitu loh rahasiain dulu aja Tapi masalahnya ada masalahnya juga Kalau misalnya kita kelamaan Tuh kasus 2 minggu lagi Alias 13 hari tepatnya 13 hari kita gak berhasil bubar Gitu hmm. Masalahnya ntar si polisi Kalau emang bukan pembunuh dia cuma dihukum karena Sex offender Which is ringan hukumannya dibanding pembunuhan Don't worry I'll have to make do. For now, let's just keep in touch. Thanks and good luck. Beda aja kan. Yo, what was that about? Sorry, give me one more sec. Oh, itu dia. Itu tuh yang meninggal. Yo Allah, muka kayak begitu aslinya. Buset dah. Pas ditemuin jadi mayat yang udah diuletin, parah juga sih. Muka asli kayak begini. Actually, Kaito-san, can I fill you in later? I need to get some answers from the chairman. Hmm? Hmm. New info is added. Blah 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 blah. Okay. Mohon maaf ya. Ntar dulu. You're gonna hog the teacher's attention for yourself, huh? Well, I want details later. <laughs> Ntar kasih tau gue ya. Lu ngapain lu? Ngomong ngobrol sendiri sama Doi. I take it that call was the Genda Law Office? You seem popular as ever, Yagamishi. <laughs> popular dia bilang. Iya, ntar dulu. Gue mau ngobrol dulu sama si Doi ini. Okay, I mean. Eh, apa tuh tadi? Yo, udah lah. Gua enggak baca tadi kepecat X Dodol. Sauri bla 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 ada telepon dari Sauri ya bla 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 bla. Nah, mereka belum tahu nih. Mereka belum tahu kan memang. May I help you with something, Yagami-san? Gini pakai Epsec. Sure can. Only thing is where to start. Hmm. Gua nggak bisa ngasih tahu dulu apa yang terjadi dengan Mikoshiba karena sekolah itu cuma tahu kan si Mikoshiba alias gurunya itu ngilang bukan tet gitu kan tapi alangkah baiknya katanya jangan kasih tahu dulu lah kata si Yagami tapi gua bisa nanya ya pertanyaan umum lah tentang Remember si... how you told me about a student teacher went missing? Oh, uh... this is him, right? Hiro Mikoshiba. How do you have that photo? Hmm. But yes, that's hmm. him. Berarti itu proof. Like ask a bit about him in relation to a separate investigation. What? What is it you need to know? Did something happen to him? I'm afraid I can't give you any details. This request comes from a very close colleague. I'm sure you understand. It's a matter of detective client privilege. I know that isn't much consolation. But if it's any comfort, I would never disclose anything about your case either. But don't you see? Mikoshibukun was officially reported missing. Please, can you tell me something? I promise, I'll tell you everything I can when I can. But for now, let me ask the questions. Very well. Go ahead. I'll start with the basics. Mikoshibukun was a graduate here, correct? And that's why he came back to train as a teacher? That's correct. How long was he supposed to be here? Three weeks, originally. He'd nearly finished his time with us. But... One day he simply stopped coming. It was as if all was well. Then suddenly, he was gone. Or at least that's how I'd heard it. Were you two not that close? No, we had barely exchanged a word since he arrived. Jadi intinya adalah bagi teman-teman yang gak ngerti bahasa Inggris, jadi kan si si gurunya yang hilang itu kan ditanya kan sama dia kan. Oh, gimana jadi dia tuh lulusan sini bener kata si kepala sekolah lulusan sini tapi abis itu dia latihan jadi guru ibaratnya kayak apa ya bahasanya tuh apa sih teman-teman kalau latihan kayak kayak lu pada yang kuliah tuh apa namanya kayak kerja kayak uh, ini uh, 
apa kerja nggak digaji tuh apa sih ya, pelatihan guru lah ya apa sih namanya ya. internship internship gitu loh ibaratnya seperti itulah internship jadi dia seharusnya cuma jadi guru tiga minggu gitu kan udah mau selesai kata si kepala sekolahnya tugas dia udah mau selesai tuh jadi guru pelatihan di sini cuma tiga minggu udah mau selesai maksudnya baru cuma dua minggu terus hilang gitu kan terus hilang terus tiba-tiba tuh kayak hilang gitu loh kata kepala sekolahnya dan kebetulan memang kepala sekolahnya ya cuma ngobrol sekali dua kali tapi dia orangnya baik kok gitu kan cuman dia ngilang aja tiba-tiba gitu loh hmm. wasn't there a pretty dark rumor about Miko Shibakun four years back hmm. something about how he drove a student to suicide you mean what was dredged up online. Yes, I'm aware of it. However, in the subsequent lawsuit, that rumor was put to rest. The court found no evidence of bullying. But you had your doubts, didn't you? So you called on us to take a deeper look. Well, uh, yes. But let's not get confused. The tragedy from four years ago does weigh on us. But we've washed our hands of the matter. So you say that. Yet I can't help circling back to the same question. Why would the head of a school hire detectives to monitor his students in secret? Potentially even out of pocket. Well, for one thing, it would reflect poorly on our institution were I to openly suspect our students. Then there's the issue of bullying being recorded and shared online. You know what kind of firestorm that can cause. I should mention, I'm the one who takes the fall for it. My own privacy be damned. So of course I would opt for secrecy. That's fair. Mm. But what that still doesn't answer is why this is happening now. Nah. I'm not sure. Yes, I sih. Jadi gini ya teman-teman ya. Uh, jadi kan, oke, okay, katakanlah dia ngilang bla 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 bla. Terus si Yagami itu bilang bahwa lo, oke, okay, sekarang gini. Uh, satu ya, kata ya, kalau soal bully membuli, gitu kan? Kenapa lo minta ke kita, gitu loh? Kan harusnya kan, misalnya sekarang gini di sekolah lo ada bully. gitu kan dan lu tahu kalau apalagi kepala sekolahnya tuh tahu kalau ada bully ya kan paling dia minta tolong sama guru-gurunya gitu loh kenapa lu mesti hire detektif kayak gua gitu kan terus kata si kepala sekolah jelasin dia gimana ya soalnya kan uh, ini kan juga ada matter of privacy gitu loh kan maksudnya kayak kalau misalnya ntar ada terjadi apa-apa ntar gua lagi yang kena kata kepala sekolahnya ya memang betul kan gitu kan gua lagi yang kena kayak di media tuh kan gua lagi yang kena gua lagi yang berusaha nutup nutupin gitu kan akhirnya juga kita udah inilah udah udah tahu lah gitu loh, cara handle kasus seperti itu lo iya kata si Yagami betul gua ngerti gua gua ngerti kalau soal kerahasiaan ya kata kata Yagami tuh gitu gua tuh ngerti bahwa lo tuh nggak mau maksudnya kayak terbuka untuk publik makanya kita lo minta kita sebagai detektif untuk mata matain murid lo secara rahasia itunya gua ngerti kata Yagami cuman kan Kenapa sekarang? Pasti ada sesuatu yang disembunyiin gitu loh. Kenapa nggak dari dulu atau kenapa apa gimana? Soalnya kan ini kasus sudah sejak dulu. Nah terus yang sebelumnya si Agami juga ngomong. Tar dulu nih ngomongin soal guru lu. Lu tahu kan guru lu tuh dulu sampai ada kasus pembulian. Ada rumor bahwa gurunya yang ngilang itu yang jadi mayat suka ngebully muridnya. Terus kata si kepala sekolahnya iya sih itu cuma rumor. Tapi rumor udah kita hilangkan katanya. Nah ini pasti ada hubungan dan ini kepala sekolahnya tahu sesuatu ini. Nah kan bangsat. Who push the chairman uh, taking action against bullying now? Nah, ini pasti ada sesuatunya nih. Coba kita lihat. Ntar lo ya. Zoom in apa nih? The report of trace element inspection from Akira Yaharahans immediately after his arrest. The trace fiber detective in the of the victims underwear. Oh, bukan. Ini mah sex offender. Uh, numerus bla 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 bla. A video recorded by smartphone. Huh? The footage has been higher than a numerous time. Cuma tiga ya. Menurut gue mungkin yang ini kayak ini. Kayaknya yang ini deh. Could this be what riled you up? But but this is this is footage of Akihiro Ehara two months ago, captured up in Tokyo. The man was an active duty police officer, so of course it made the rounds in the media. But you already knew all that. After all, he's the one who sued your school on account of what his son endured here. Bullying that led to suicide. Well, that's uh, undeniable. And now that he's in the spotlight, any more problems at Serio would lead people to start connecting the dots. Uh. The police would dig up that suicide in no time, regardless of whatever the court had ruled. They might even reach the conclusion you had covered the whole thing up. I get the feeling that's why we're really here. To prevent another mess on your hands. Oh, I see now. 
Our job's to sniff out any bullying, then you sweep it under the rug. That's simply not true. At least, that wasn't my intention. You sure about that? The thought never even crossed your mind? <sighs> Perhaps it did. The scenario you described was painfully accurate. <laughs> Every what time I saw Ihara-san on TV, I'd grow sick with worry that it could all boil over on us here at any moment. I can assure you, Chairman, I'm not here to cause any trouble. I only want to learn about Miko Shibaku. In that case, you should speak with Sawa-sensei. She was his teaching mentor. Her? Great. <laughs> That's my luck. See? Oh, I told you we should have stayed on her good side. How was I supposed to know? <laughs> um, so, would you like me to call her back here? No, thanks. I should go see her myself. Do a bit of smoothing over. In that case, you may want to go downstairs and see if she's in the faculty room. She should still be on lunch. Perfect! I've got another chance to shoot my shot. Sorry, Kaito-san, but I'm fielding this one alone. <laughs> Tsukumo, you guys can clear out too. What? You're benching all of us? Just like that? I don't understand the meaning of this, Yagamishi. If I had time to explain, I would. Just trust me on this for now. <laughs> dia baru mau ngeflot sama gurunya lagi gitu loh. Tapi ya elah lu. Dia ada di ruang guru di bawah katanya. Oke. Okay. Jadi cukup menarik sih ya kasusnya ya. Katanya Allah lo, jadi kan ditunjukin bukti dan ternyata gue bener lagi. Gue, gue tadi tebak tebakan sebenarnya. Itu tunjukin bukti bahwa nih gara-gara dia kan. Setiap lo ngelihat dia, pasti lo langsung ketakutan sendiri gitu lo. Jiper sendiri si kepala sekolahnya dan akhirnya kepala sekolahnya ngaku iya sih memang. Setiap gue ngeliat di muka muka dia di media atau dimanapun lah, gue tuh takut gitu karena dia pernah nuntut sekolah ini gitu kan. Karena tentang anaknya yang bunuh diri itu gitu lo. Jadi dia tuh kayak, aduh tolong dong, tolong dong, nyawa detektif kayak Yagami dan kawan-kawan gitu kan. Kalau misalnya ada bully-bully, tolong dong bersihin, tapi diem-diem ya. Agak kotor sebenarnya caranya, tapi ya, which is, it's okay. Cuman, ya lo kepala sekolahnya tuh takut gitu loh. Tapi si Yagami tuh pastiin bahwa, eh pak, tenang ya pak ya. Kita di sini bukan bikin masalah, bukan untuk blackmail bapak atau gimana. Kagak, demi Allah kagak, kata si Yagami. Kita tuh di sini pengen ngebantu, dan saya cuman pengen tahu gitu loh. Tentang si orang yang hilang itu, si guru itu gitu loh. Which is sebenarnya kita kan udah tahu kalau sebenarnya itu dan Ted. Cuman si kepala sekolah kan belum tahu. Nah, cuman gimana nih sekarang? Gua pengen tahu banyak hal tentang si orang guru yang hilang ini dari mana. Itu tuh si Soa, Bu Soa tuh yang tadi yang cewek cakep itu. Tapi kita udah keburu agak sedikit selek sama dia gitu loh. <laughs> Jadi ya aduh, kenapa mesti dia sih gitu kan? Terus kata si Kai itu kan gua udah bilang harusnya baik-baikin gitu. Aduh. Di ruang guru dia sekarang di faculty office. Oke. Okay. Assalamualaikum. Bu Soa. Jadi ternyata Bu Soa ini pelatih pengajarnya gitu loh. I'm sorry. Did you need something, sir? Oh. Uh, is Sawa sensei here? Sawa, bukan Soa. She should be back shortly. May I ask who's waiting for her? Well, no one special really. I just need to have a quick word with her is all. Maybe you could tell me where her desk is? It's right over there. The one with all the English books. Oh. Thank you. Guru bahasa Inggris toh. Thank you. Masih cuma sebentar doang kok. Jadi nih gua ternyata gurunya memang dekat sekali dengan murid deh. itu fotonya aja apa gimana tuh? Tuh foto-fotonya sama murid-murid. Mikoshiba tuh dia namanya ngilang. Si Mikoshiba tuh jadi di supervisor, di supervise sama si Bu, Bu Sawa ini gitu loh. Hey. Uh, Oke, okay, harus cepat nih. Oh, kan ini apa nih? Oh. Ini janjian si Bu Sawanya sendiri. Oke. Okay. Hmm, cakep juga ya. Eh, ada foto apa tuh di belakangnya? Apa tuh? Terus What the... Cek dulu yang lain ah. Eh, dia wali kelasnya kelas 22 memang. Anything else? Hmm, ada. Hmm, apa tuh ada foto di balik di balik fotonya ada foto kecil apa tuh? Datang. What are you doing here? I thought you'd have gone by now. Yes, well. I need to ask you a couple things. Such as? 
such as how close you were to Hiromika Shiba. What? Mm -hmm. I heard from Chairman Okuda you were mentoring him as a teacher. I believe this was two months ago? Why do you of all people want to know? Did you notice anything unusual before he disappeared? Any sign of trouble he might have had? I can't say for sure. He just stopped showing up one day. Really, that's all I know. Uh, is that really all you can tell me? Nothing jogging the memory? I said that's all. Jadi kok si gurunya ini tegang pada saat kita nanya tentang si Mikoshiba gitu loh. Kata saya yakin lo cuma gitu doang. Tiba-tiba dia nggak datang, bla bla bla. Ini pasti ada sesuatu nih. You know what? Let's start over. Why don't we talk about him as a student? You were already a teacher here by then, weren't you? Mm -hmm. Back when a student here committed suicide, there were rumors online about how it could have been caused by bullying, and Mikoshiba Kun's name came up as one of the potential bullies. Yes, but. Those were just rumors. So he wasn't involved in any teasing? I teach English and that's what I was focused on. So as far as I knew, Mikoshiba-kun was a good student with solid grades back then. And during his time in training, I was under the impression he got along with the students just fine. He's not the type to bully then? I would say no. Then why would those rumors exist in the first place? You're asking the wrong person. Kan. Jadi kan, kan dia nanya gitu. Jadi si Mikoshiba ini benar bukan bully gitu atau tipikal bully nggak sih? Kata si Yagami nanya. Atau kata si gurunya, e, menurut saya sih tidak sih ya. Tapi itu tidak sih ya. Tidak sih nya tuh agak sedikit aneh gitu loh. Kalau misalnya jujur kan, nggak mungkin lah. Nggak mungkin dia ngebully gitu loh. Itu kan cuma rumor. Kalau misalnya beneran dia bukan pembully, tapi kok ada hesitation di sini gitu loh. Yang saya rasakan dari Bu Sawa ini ada sedikit gugup gitu loh kayak. Four years ago, the court determined this school was not responsible for a bullying-related suicide. You mean Ahara-san's lawsuit? The father of the student who died and an officer in Tokyo? He was arrested the other day. Well, I'm sure you've seen the news. Yes, but what of it? What exactly is the point you're trying to make here? I believe Ahara-san still thinks his son killed himself because of Mikoshiba-kun. Let me ask you something, Yagami-san. By all means. What are you trying to accomplish? Didn't you finish this whole business with the chairman? If that wasn't enough, you got security called on you. You clearly have zero regard for anyone here. You should have had the sense to leave long before now. Believe me, once I learn what I need about Mikoshiba-kun, I'm gone. In that case, you've already got everything you need from me. Uh, one last question. You and the chairman both mentioned how Miko Shibakun got along with the students here. Anyone in particular that he was close to? Uh, the kids in the basketball club? Miko Shibakun was in that club back when he was a student. Apparently, he was showing up to their practices. The basketball club? That includes the gang from before, right? Yes. They all spent quite a bit of time with him. Ah. <sighs> Jadi si Mikoshiba nih dulu bilang kan dekat sama murid-murid tuh dekat sama siapa? Anak-anak dari klub basket. Nah, si pembuli-pembuli brengsek ini. Hmm. All right. With that, I'll get out of your hair. Appreciate your time, Matt. Uh, Sawa Sensei. Uh, just a minute. <sighs> Kayaknya saya mencium bau-bau Sensei Sawa ini dengan Tell me you're still on campus. Doi kayaknya lebih dari itu Why? hubungannya kayaknya. You suddenly hmm. decide you need me after all. <laughs> Man, don't be like that. You enjoy playing teacher's pet with Sawa Sensei? <laughs> you mean did I enjoy getting eviscerated by her? She hates my guts at this point. That aside, I did get some interesting intel. And that's where you come in. Huh? What for? I want to find those bullies in the basketball club. Think you can fly the pigeon for me? <laughs> so I do have a purpose. Ain't that something? <laughs> All right then. It's drone time. Thanks. I'll start scoping out the gymnasium. Aduh, gua ini nih. Coba lu lihat sesuatu dong pakai drone. 
Heh, ternyata gue ada gunai juga ya, kata ya. Oke lah, ya, ke, mau ke gym dulu gue, kata si ini mau ngelihat anak-anak basket. Ternyata guru yang ngilang ini, aduh, jangan-jangan beneran bully nih, jangan-jangan gitu kan. Soalnya kan uh, kita kan nggak tahu gitu loh, jangan-jangan beneran bully. Soalnya dia nongkrongnya sama anak basket, tapi kita nggak tahu nih. Pengen tahu aja gue, coba ya. Mana ini monyong-monyong yang suka main basket? Eh, mana dia? Ini dia, ini dia bukan? Oh bukan. Duh, kok malah korban bulinya yang main basket si Koda? Lu kok Koda? Bolanya agak kempes kayak. Close one. Almost got it. Huh? You're Kodasan from class 2 too, right? Basketball too? Yeah. You have a second? I um, have some questions about a student teacher who taught classes here named Mikoshiba. Huh? Oh. oh. Really? Yo, you read me talk? That posse of little shitheads just went strutting into the gym with some bat. Oh. Kaito-san, can you at least try to warn me a little sooner next time? <laughs> Why? You worried? Oh. Hey, why are you still here, asshole? Oh, kumpulan anak kesepian. Anyway, talking pretty big for taking a cheap shot while my back was turned. You had it coming, shady old fuck. Gak, gak kapok kapok gitu loh. Hey, you been spilling anything to this guy? I didn't say anything. I'll fill you in. I was asking her about Miko Shiba, a student teacher who disappeared from school not too long ago. You guys know him, right? The basketball club would. Don't bother trying to talk to us like we're your fucking friends, asshole. I want to bash your fucking skull in. <laughs> You'll die before I tell you shit. You wiped the floor with us yesterday. Only fair for you to take a handicap. I don't mind at all. Sure. Gak kapok kapok gitu loh nih anak-anak nih. Aduh bocah bocah bener bener dah. Ini loh disebut bocah. Bukan masalah bocah piak atau underage enggak. Orang kayak gini tuh ini yang disebut bocah ini orang-orang tolol. Oh, snake, oke. Okay. Itu makhluk-makhluk yang satu ini ya. Hmm. Gila keren juga by the way gua barusan. Ntar lo, gua ngurus dia dulu Gua, gua, gua bakalan enjoy banget nih Nginjek si Matsui nih Matsui! Hmm, enak banget, aduh Puas gua bener asli Anak-anak <laughs> tolol yang kayak gitu yang mesti di mm. Gak puas-puas gitu loh Udah berapa kali kalah You've got a lot of guts for your age, kid. But come on, you really need a better outlet for all that aggression. Let me go. Just what on earth is going on in here? Nah, sama sensei datang. Hey, let's roll out. I'm gonna do you a favor here and leave out the part about the bats. Huh? Are you even listening? Yes, ma'am. We were just horsing around a bit. Right? <laughs> just horsing around is right. Sawa sensei ah. Iseng aja orang lagi mau ngasih pembelajaran baru. You are unbelievable. Why are you attacking defenseless students Defense? on their school property? Defenseless. How many times must I tell you to leave our school alone? Wah, ibu cantik tapi bego ibu ya. The chairman asked me to be here. Oh, good. Let's drag him into this. How should our chairman explain you to the mob of irate parents that will be at his door any second now? 
Don't worry. There's a very good reason we hired these ragtag detectives to spy on and beat up your kids. Not the words I'd use. If I hear anything else about you, anything, I'm going straight to the press. I'm under no obligation to cover for anyone. Oh, and your attire is atrocious. <laughs> when you show up at a school, at least try to look the part. Now go home. <laughs> Penampilan lu ada kayak ini kayak preman nih berarti kayak gitu. Ya terus kalau di sekolah pakai nama bener lah. Hear all that, Kaito-san? I have a funny feeling I'm not wanted here. Can I talk to the chairman real quick? <laughs> I'm afraid Sawa Sensei has made her point clear. <laughs> Perhaps it's best you take your leave. After all, you've satisfied the bulk of my request. Wait. Animasi. Okay, how about this? Animasi you can hire me on as a teacher? That way, I can stay on campus no problem, right? But you can't teach without a license. You don't happen to have one, do you? No, but I do have a lawyer's badge. How's that for certification? You're a lawyer? Well, that certainly is a respectable position, but it's not exactly a license to educate. Can't we work something out? I'm afraid something isn't specific enough. Although, there is always the off chance that you can serve as an outside consultant. A guidance counselor, perhaps. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Like a club advisor. Do you happen to have a kung fu club? <laughs> I've got a few tricks I could show some kids. No, there's nothing of the sort. Kung fu. And on that note, I believe each club already has an advisor assigned. That's unfortunate. Me again. I say it's time we hightailed it out of here. No use sitting around on our asses, right? Why don't you meet us back here and we'll go? I can't. Not until I find something for sorry, son. Suit yourself. Don't work too hard now. Hello, cantik cantik nih gurunya masa masih gini loh teman-teman mohon maaf ya gurunya bener gitu masa si busawan nih bener bahwa eh lu macem-macem mama ini awas lu ya tapi kan ibu udah tahu bu saya yang pasti diserang duluan yang megang bete siapa bu ya allah ibu ibu busawan nih aduh. Tapi katanya terus punya ide gitu loh. Iya sih emang sebaiknya kita cabut aja dari sini. Tapi kata si Agami, gimana kalau gue jadi guru di sini? Jadi kan gue bisa di sekolah tanpa diprotes gitu loh. Bisa di sekolah itu tanpa diprotes. Jadi ya gimana kalau gue jadi guru aja? Emang lu punya izin jadi guru? Ya, gue nggak punya izin. Tapi gue ada lencana ini pengacara. Gimana menurut lo? Ya, well, bo, bisa sih. Mungkin lu jadi advisor mungkin gitu kan? Jadi advisor atau gimana? Bisa aja katanya. Tapi sayangnya semua klub udah ada advisor ya katanya. Oh, gue gue boleh ngajar kungfu nggak? Katanya gue, katanya gue boleh jadi advisor kungfu nggak? Gue ada beberapa triks nih yang bisa ditunjukin ke murid-murid nggak nggak gitu dong? Dia ngajarin kekerasan. Aduh ya Allah. Ya, gue keresepsionis dulu deh katanya. Ada ada itu ada job nggak? Job openings gitu loh buat lamaran kerja. Hmm. Terus ada mading juga. Coba kita lihat. Ada sesuatu nggak yang bisa mungkin bisa gue masuk ke sekolah intinya jadi beralasan gitu loh jadi nggak digagang gampang uh -huh. diusir. Stop right there. Eh? Huh? Hmm. Si murid yang ini I nih. I knew it. Suspicion confirmed. Can I help you? Actually, you already have. I didn't think you'd be foolish enough to show your face around here again. Yang dikira perfect kita. Gitu. I'm sorry, but do I? Oh. <laughs> Gua aja masih ingat. They always say perpetrators return to the scene of the crime, and you just proved the old adage true, Monsieur Boyer. <laughs> Monsieur Boyer, what are you talking about? I'm talking about your pervy little upskirt scheme. Seriously, hiding a camera under the stairs <laughs> and at your age? Shame on you, sir. Yeah, you lost me. Now, if you don't mind, I'm kind of in the middle of something. Oh no, you don't! I have irrefutable proof of your crime. Why, the very shoes on your feet! You're wearing the exact same sneakers as the pervert from yesterday. And don't think they'll carry you to safety today. <sighs> okay, what is happening here? Sorry, but your evidence is my shoes? 
Everybody here's got shoes, young lady. In fact, I'm probably not the only person with this exact pair. Hmm. Your shoe style is merely the icing on the cake. You see, before the pervert arrived yesterday, I had covered the floor around the camera with a clear polymer that shines under black light. Huh? It's an oil-based substance, so it lasts a few days. Your souls are stained with it as we speak. Uh... Ah, pinter juga. Which means you came bumbling back to the scene of the crime. While wearing the very evidence of your misdeeds. Oh, pinter juga nih cewek. <laughs> ketahuan sama cewek. Aduh, ketahuan sama apa maksudnya sama cewek sekolahan. Ya Allah, pinter juga. Dikasih jebakan oil. That's what you get for crossing the Mystery, Mystery Research, Research Club of Serio High. Mystery Research Club? Now, if you'll follow me to the faculty room, monsieur. Oh, wait, just hold on, okay? <laughs> gimana nih ya? Aduh, gue gimana nih? <laughs> Use ex surrender? Atau flee gak mungkin kabur gue? Refute her claim, maybe? There's no way I'd have noticed an invisible substance on my shoes. I'll give you that much. But even if I did step in some mystery goop, does that really prove what you're saying? With so many people on campus, any number of them could have walked over that spot. No, only the perpetrator stepped in the coating. I know this because I was there watching your fiasco. And of course, I had the PE teacher who was with me agree to serve as witness. <laughs> Why don't you just give it up already? <laughs> no, I'm just gonna flee. Yes, ex surrender. There's no escape, sir. I have even more proof of your crimes. The camera may be gone, but fortunately, I snapped a photo of it before it got taken away. With that, I determined Pinter everything dicewe. there is to know about your company, <laughs> down to the store where you bought it. Pinter Turns dicewe. out it's an online exclusive, customized to capture high-resolution footage with an inconspicuous design. Were I to supply this information to the police, they would track down the owner soon enough. After all, the shop would have no choice but to cooperate with the police investigation. <laughs> Aduh, walaupun katanya walaupun si Sukomo sih Sukomo tuh yang si hacker itu yang pakai kacamata kan walaupun si Sukomo udah hapus si jaket semua tapi tetap aja gue malas kalau udah bawa bawa polisi gitu. Do I need to spell it out any further? You, Monsieur, are a snare. Therefore, I think it would be wise to do what I say. Negosiat deh. Nah, uh, let's say we have a chat. A chat? Yeah, now, I can't give out any details, but having the cops on me would be extremely problematic. So, I'd like to resolve this as amicably as possible. Think we can come to terms here? I will agree to one thing only. Hearing the unadulterated truth. And make no mistake, I will not be misled by diversion, threats, bribes, sob stories, nothing of the sort. anak jadi pengacara nih. Jadi pengacara nih, jangan namanya Von Karma nih. <laughs> Ada. Kira hari kira hari des. Look at me. Do I really look like a pervert who sneak into a school for dirty pictures? Well, no, actually. Not at first glance. Right? So, drop the Monsieur Boyer... But, I would be an utter failure as a mystery connoisseur to fall for such elementary misdirection. Uh, what? No matter where or when the story is told, the perpetrators in mysteries are often those who draw the least suspicion. This trope carries over into the real world as well. So the fact that you don't look like a criminal proves nothing. <laughs> really? Oh, lihat wajah gua If dong. you think you can pull this mystery fiend, you'd better think again. Eh, 
Eh, lu lihat gua lah katanya. Memangnya muka gua kayak kayak kriminal apa katanya? Enggak sih katanya. What the? Oh, itu dari High Mystery. Itu Sherlock Holmes itu dari pipa eh. <laughs> kan outside counselor lapas ah, butuh counselor kan? Uh, our advisor is living serio. Women in four bla 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 bla. Pas banget. Oke lah, pas lah. Gini lah tiket gue masuk ke sekolah. Sip. You're Kyoko Amasawa-san, right? President of the Mystery Research Club. So what if I am? I saw your flyer. Sounds like your club's in a tough spot. You're not wrong. Our current advisor got married and quit teaching, and we can't find anyone else to take her spot. On top of that, the chairman's been reluctant to bring in anyone from outside, so the MRC may be in dire straits. But your arrival marks our revival. Should I turn you in as a voyeur, you would make a fine feather in my cap. Hmm. You would also prove the value of the MRC, so the chairman would have no choice but to solicit an advisor for us. Well, that all sounds fine on paper, but the real-life logistics may not play out that way. You'll need a competent professional in your area of interest, but you think they have time for volunteer work? When you put it that way, it does seem like a long shot. Banyak yang jago kata. So here's my proposition. Tapi pikir dia mau kerja tanpa bayaran, volunteer gitu kata. Lu lagi nyari itu kan? Lu lagi nyari advisor kan lu? Kata. Lagi nyari advisor kan lu? Lu lihat dong. Emang ada orang yang mau kerja buat jadi advisor, jadi volunteer gitu, nggak bakalan ada yang mau lah, berarti nggak nggak dibayar segala macam. Dan kita advisor sekarang udah nikah kan advisor sebelumnya. Dah gue aja jadi club advisor lo. How about you make me your advisor? You advise the MRC? Why not? A Kamarocho-based detective not good enough? Uh, you're a detective? Oh yeah, I'm Takayuki Yagami from the Yagami Detective Agency. Hmm. I was asked to come investigate your school. That's about all I can let slip. So then, the hidden camera was for your investigation? Iye, monyong. I'll let you deduce that yourself. Client confidentiality and all that. But I will say one thing. I'm here to stop shady business. Not start it. If he wasn't shooting up skirts, then what was he trying to see? Rather, who was he trying to see? Who put him up to it? Our staff? Ugh! So many variables. Pusing kan? Siapa dong ada? Listen, I don't mean to interrupt. Kira-kira berarti dia siapa dong ada? Berarti dia ngapain di sini gitu? Becoming your advisor could work out well for both of us. I'm not done here by a long shot. One of your teachers is bent on seeing me gone. Really? Who? Sawa Sensei. She thinks I have no business being here, and frankly, it's been hard to prove her wrong. But if I were to advise your club. It'd be all the reason I need to stay on campus. So what do you think? It's a win-win situation, wouldn't you say? Oh, and if it's experience you want, believe me, I've been around the block when it comes to mysteries. I believe I understand. The purpose you stated for being here does fit the circumstances better than my original theory. <laughs> But I will not be persuaded so easily. So I propose a test. Oke. Test. A test. Gue coba dulu lo katanya. Nak aja lo. Gak semudah itu dong katanya. Hey. Eh boleh juga sih katanya. Boleh juga memang lo katanya. Detektif gini gini gini. Oke. Tapi gue pengen ngetes dulu. Waduh. Di tes lagi mati. Apa nih tes tes ini? Ya udahlah ya ini. Kayaknya ini satu satu cara supaya gue bisa stay di sekolah tanpa diganggu. Ada ya Allah ada dah aja kan. Allah is this it is this the place? Huh? Who's this, sis? This is Yagami-san, our new advisor candidate. However, I intend to test him first, see if he's legitimate. Hmm. Fine by me. I'm Kento Amasawa, Kyoko's younger brother, also the MRC's bodyguard. When your sister's as nosy as mine. You've got to step up your game to keep her safe. Hmm. True, true. Please have a seat, Yagami-san. I'm 
disuruh ngapain nih gue nitesin nih. After you. Oh, how kind of you. Hmm. So, Amasawa-san, back to the topic at hand here. Uh, apa sih ini Miss Research Club? Could you tell me what the Mystery Research Club actually does? It seems like the advisor ought to know that. <coughs> so, I founded the Mystery Research Club last year. Ada ex-school kayak gini Primarily, ya? Primarily, we function as a book club, critiquing mystery novels from many different cultures and eras. Hmm, okay. But, when the opportunity is ripe, we also engage in more involved activities. And by that, I mean solving the mysteries around us. Hmm. Oh, you mean go sleuthing, like on a case. So that's what you were up to. I've got to say, as a potential advisor, I'm not exactly psyched to hear you go around <laughs> looking for trouble. Yes, you're right. Don't get me wrong. We don't do this for kicks, and I'm not a fan of danger. If we could all be armchair detectives, free to investigate from afar, surely that would be ideal. Yeah, don't I know it. <laughs> Unfortunately, that is rarely, if ever, possible. Say our investigatory senses were to draw us toward a mystery that escapes even the school and the police. Why, letting such a case slip away would be anathema to our club's founding principles. While I do admire your passion, why put yourself at risk? You'd be safer handing it off to the authorities. Then shouldn't we hand you off to the authorities? <laughs> well, now, let's not be hasty. <laughs> I take it you see my point then. Some cases aren't so cut and dry. Wow. You make some valid points. Pinter anaknya, pinter. Ada, okay, okay. So, getting back to this test of yours. Jadi kerjaannya tuh nyari-nyari uh, yes. misteri gitu kan. So, based on what you've told me, I'm inclined to drop your charges altogether. A detective setting up cameras is... believable. That being said, I'd also be a fool to take you at your word. If this is a ruse, I'd be unleashing a pervert on the school. Well, the caution is admirable. Then you shouldn't mind if I test both your skills as a detective and your character as a person. And once that's over, the club will reach a decision. We'll either accept you as our mentor or turn you in as a deviant. Hmm. I get the picture. So what does this test entail? Actually, we've been dealing with a rather risky case as of late. So your job is to resolve it. How risky are we talking? Oke, okay. jadi intinya adalah nih klub nyari-nyari kasus gitu kan ngomongin tentang novel bagus sih klub klubnya bagus, apa ekstra kulikulernya bagus gitu kan, ekskul klub itu bagus banget. Di mana ya lo baca novel misteri, terus bahas bareng seru sih actually, komunitasnya juga pasti seru banget gitu kan. Cuman terus ya udah, cuman gimana nih sekarang gue tesnya ngapain kata Tapi kata si Agam itu gue tuh kenapa sih lo demen banget yang bahaya bahaya kata soalnya kata si ceweknya kan bisa jadi kita juga akan terlibat dengan Kasus-kasus yang mungkin seru gitu ya Kenapa nggak biarin yang pro, pihak yang berwajib aja gitu loh Terus kata si ceweknya Kenapa nggak gue serahin sekalian lu ke pihak yang berwajib Nggak gitu dong Kata ya Gami Maksudnya adalah ya itulah yang namanya kasus gitu kan Kadang tak terduga Oke okay. ya udah sekarang uh, As about the risky case Well It's about as risky as it is risque Yagami-san Have you ever heard of a sugar baby? Sugar what? Huh? You mean a younger girl getting paid to date an older guy? You know it. Yeah. Our current case involves one such sugar baby. Nah, kasusnya banyak kasus dewasa yang kedua ya. Beda main ke satu ya. Judgment. Uh -huh. Unfortunately, I've yet to pin down exactly who this is. All you know is she's in dance club? Well, I understand why you'd want to know more, but what about this warrant's investigation? She in danger? The issue at hand is that she may be doing more than dating, oh. and it's putting her safety at risk. Well, oh. we found this out online, so we're admittedly speculating a bit here. But apparently this girl's pretty infamous for what they call her vanishing act. Hmm. Care to elaborate? She strings the mark along, going on a few dates for an agreed-upon sum, but then she goes in for the kill. She gets a large upfront payment for promising to seal the deal. <laughs> yeah, right. Poof. Gone with seal the, the deal. Okay, yeah, yeah, I can see how that might Open make Open the enemies, envelope, lick the guy, envelope, lick the tip of the envelope, I mean, and then seal the deal, baby. Okay, he has the right to yeah. complain. 
you're not wrong. Problem is, her latest mark, a violent, foul-mouthed thug, isn't so self-aware. I believe rape and murder were his choicest threats. So yeah, we can't just write this one off. Oh, yeah. That's a concern. Mm-hmm. And now he has his gang roaming the streets, searching high and low for the girl who conned him. I'd say that establishes the risk clearly enough. Okay. As soon as we found out, we've been trying to find the sugar baby and warn her ASAP. Mm. Yeah, I get it now. If we don't act, she could be in very real danger. I think we're finally seeing eye to eye, Yagami-san. After all, the truly artful detective can solve incidents before they even occur. That's not quite how it works, but sure. <laughs> okay. Jadi katanya intinya tuh tugas gue ngapain nih? Tugas lu di sini adalah jadi ada cewek di sekolah ini jadi sugar baby. Aduh, sugar baby itu yang ya, you know, yang ngencanin orang-orang. Ya sebenarnya sugar baby itu bahasa bahasa ininya setengah jablay lah, setengah lonte ya, anjir. Sampai emang lonte ya sebenarnya. Jadi ya kayak cuman kencan-kencan itu tapi katanya si ceweknya ini masalah ini sugar baby ini bandel nih. Dia tuh habis nerima banyak duit, cuman dijanji-janjiin doang. Eh lu bahasa kasar gini lo, bahasa kasar. Lu boleh etot-etotin gue deh tapi DP dulu ya. Tapi tapi habis begitu di DP ngilang. Gitu lah. Jadi dia sebenarnya kayak penipu jatuhnya. Lu boleh deh kita begituan gitu kan. Tapi Uh, setelah dijanjikan begitu kan si orang tua cowoknya itu kan bayar gitu kan bayar mahal tapi bestu ngilang puf nah ini bahayanya masalahnya katanya masalahnya si cewek yang sugar baby ini gituin maksud nipu 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 orang orang ini ternyata mafia alias yakuza atau gangster jadi sekarang nih cewek lagi dicari-cari kalau misalnya ntar dia ketahuan gimana ntar diperkosa terus dibunuh kelar katanya si ceweknya gitu loh bahaya ini kok gue jadi inget seseorang ya sumpah nih dengan ada hubungan dengan cerita gue yang tadi pas di awal-awal persis kayak seseorang gue inget nipu sana nipu ini gitu kan nipu sana nipu sini terus dicariin orang hilang persis aduh ya Allah gue rasa teman-teman juga tahu sih siapa In any case, now that the situation's clear, I'd like to get on with the test. Langsunglah. Just tell me where to start. Soalnya bahaya nih cewek gitu loh harus diperingatin. It is said that the great Sherlock Holmes was able to really change his appearance into that of a total stranger. Lagu yang keping penter lagi. From helpless old woman to shifty-eyed vagrant, he deceived the masses and never lost a lead, all thanks to a good disguise. Bagus lagu. So you want me to go undercover? Yep. Any detective worth their salt should have no trouble with that. You're going to infiltrate the dance club as an advisor and return with a lead on the sugar baby. That is your test. Wait, you want me to teach a dance club? <laughs> If it's required, then yes. I want you to win their hearts in ways I myself could not. Those girls are a close-knit group. They never trade gossip with someone like me. However, if a cool new stranger gained their trust, that's you, they might be more willing to talk. But how am I supposed to be a convincing advisor if I've never danced once in my life? <laughs> That's okay. It's rare for their advisors to get up and do it themselves. They generally teach from book. Oh, great. If it's any consolation, their current advisor never even shows up. So, you'll already have an in. Just give them a few pointers, act authoritative, and soon enough, you'll be their closest confidant. Easy peasy. Easy peasy? To teach something I know nothing about? <laughs> I'm sure you can figure that out. That is, if you really are a detective and not some snaky imposter. <sighs> You're really putting me through the ringer, you know that? I guess I'll have to prevail with the power of vague advice. Good, then let's move. The dance club will be starting their practice any minute. They're in the gym basement, in case you didn't know. <laughs> I know her test might be tough, Yagami-san. I think you'd make a pretty rad advisor. Lo baca komik doang. Good luck. Baca komik doang si kampret. Oh. Ada. Okey lah. Jadi, ya udahlah ya kita inti disuruh. Belum sama sih, belum sih gua. Coba kita save dulu aja, just in case. Dah bisa belum? Oh, dah bisa nih. Oke, okay. tapi anyway teman-teman ini gue save dulu aja ya karena ini udah sejam lebih untuk gue bikin walkthroughnya. Oke, okay. anyway uh, teman-teman ya, intinya begitu lah kita disuruh tes. Jadi kita disuruh jadi uh, advisor dance club kata si Yagami lah. Gue nggak pernah nari joget gimana nih. Udah kata si ceweknya. 
ajarin sesuai buku aja yang penting lu acting ya seolah-olah kayak lu tuh beneran katanya yang penting lu aduh, berotoritas maksudnya dalam arti confidence aja gitu lo ngajar mereka gitu kan dan soon enough you will be their closest confidant mereka tuh maksudnya mereka tuh bakalan dekat sama lu kok ntar kalau misalnya lu bener-bener nunjukin karisma dan personal lu katanya oh, oke okay. ya udahlah ya nggak ada jalan lain soalnya kita diancam mula sama si cewek ini eh kalau nggak terbola laporin kalau nggak gue laporin bodoh oke okay. ini itu aja untuk part ini teman-teman thank you udah nonton sampai ketemu guys di part part dan video dan live stream berikutnya Thank you. Jangan lupa untuk like, share, dan juga subscribe, teman-teman. Bye-bye.